In this screencast video lecture, we will try to understand about the anoxygenic photosynthesis and anoxygenic photosynthetic group of organisms. Before going into the topic, we try to understand what is the difference there that have been existing between the anoxygenic and oxygenic group of phototrophic organisms. So, phototrophs can be divided into two groups. One is the oxygenic group of phototrophic organisms and another one is the anoxygenic group of photosynthetic organisms. Here under the oxygenic group, Cyanobacteria, algae and green plants can be grouped. Here, based on the reducing power, carbon and energy, they can be of an oxygenic nature. That is, when the reducing power is obtained there from the water, that is through splitting of water, mainly oxygen is get evolved. As a result, this group of organisms are referred as an oxygenic group of organisms. They are involved there by fixing the carbon dioxide into cell carbon and energy obtained with the help of sunlight that is by converting ADP into ATP. Whereas you look at into the other category that is the purple and green sulfur bacteria which are all preferred as an anoxygenic group of bacteria. So this anoxygenic group of bacteria are those in which the reducing power is obtained from hydrogen sulfide that is Hydrogen sulphide is get oxidized into sulphate. As a result, oxygen will not be evolved during this process of photosynthesis. So, they are referred as an anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. Whereas the other two things are same with reference to the anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. That is, they can able to convert the atmospheric carbon dioxide into cell carbon and they can able to obtain energy in the form of ATP that is generated by the flow of electron there in the electron transport chain that results in the electrochemical gradient which fuels the formation of ATP there. Now we look at the explanation for anoxygenic photosynthesis process. Anoxygenic photosynthesis is a phototrophic process which requires light energy and it is converted there into ATP that is chemical energy without production of oxygen. Therefore, instead of water, meaning water is an electron donor there in the oxygenic group of organisms, especially cyanobacteria. Whereas, this anoxygenic group of organisms uses hydrogen sulphide instead of water there as an electron donor. There are several groups of bacteria that can be able to perform an anoxygenic photosynthesis process, which includes green sulphur bacteria such as a chlorobium, green non-sulfur filamentous bacteria such as a chlorofluxus and phototrophic purple bacteria such as a chromatium. Apart from that, phototrophic acidobacteria and phototrophic heliobacteria are also a group of anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. Anoxygenic phototrophs have photosynthetic pigments referred as a bacterial chlorophylls. They are similar to chlorophyll that have been found there in the eukaryotic organism. Whereas bacterial chlorophyll will have different wavelength of light absorption. Say for example, bacterial chlorophyll A can able to absorb a maximum light at a 775 nanometer. Whereas bacterial chlorophyll B absorbs maximum light at 790 nanometer. Unlike oxygenic phototrophic group of organisms, anoxygenic photosynthesis only functions using either one of the two possible types of photosystems. This table shows the different groups of anoxygenic phototrophic bacteria, their electron donor sources and what is the type of the chlorophyll, that is the type of bacterial chlorophyll used during the process of anoxygenic photosynthesis and finally the classical example of the organism that falls under that particular group of bacteria. Now we look at the points related to green sulfur bacteria. They belong to a family of obligately anaerobic photoautotrophic bacteria that has been closely phylogenetically related to phylum bacteriades. They are generally non-motile with the exception of chloroherpetan thalassium which moves through gliding motility. They come in different shapes like spheres, rods, spiral forms. Photosynthesis is achieved using bacterial chlorophyll which may be of a different form such as a, a, C, D, E. In addition to that, chlorophyll A can also present in this group of organism. They are all 
arranged there into a special structure called as a chlorosomes that have been attached there to the membrane. The electron transport chain of the green sulfur bacteria uses the reaction center bacterial chlorophyll pair that is P840. When light is absorbed by this reaction center P840 chlorophyll, it get enters into a excited state with a large negative reduction potential. So, it readily donates electron there to a bacterial chlorophyll of a 663, which passes it down there in the electron transport chain. Electron is transferred through a series of electron carrier and complexes until it either returns back to the P840 bacterial chlorophyll or it can be used to reduce NAD to NADH2. If the electron leaves the chain to reduce NAD, P840 must be reduced for the operation of the electron transport chain to continue further. The green sulfur bacteria also require certain organic molecule transporter for their metabolism and the presence of certain transcription factors clearly indicates that these organisms are adapted to a narrow range of energy limited conditions and in an ecological condition they can able to fit well with the bacteria like cyanobacteria. The next one is purple sulfur bacteria. They are a group of bacteria that are coming under the category of proteobacteria and they are capable of performing the anoxygenic photosynthesis. They are anaerobic or microaerophilic in nature found commonly in hot springs and stagnant water. Unlike plants, algae and cyanobacteria, they do not use water as their reducing agent. So, they do not able to produce oxygen. That is the reason they are referred as a anoxygenic photosynthetic bacteria. They use hydrogen sulphide instead of oxygen as an electron donor. So, hydrogen sulphide get oxidized to produce granules of elemental sulphur. In certain conditions, they can be further oxidized to form sulfuric acid. The purple sulphur bacteria are divided into two families. One is chromaceaceae and another one is ectothiorhodospiraceae. The difference is, members of chromaceaceae can able to form sulfur granules internally whereas ectothiorhodospiracy form external sulfur granules and the differences there in the internal membrane arrangement is also differing for chromoceaci as well as ectothiorhodospiracy. Purple sulfur bacteria are generally found in illuminated anoxic zones of lakes and other aquatic habitats where hydrogen sulfide accumulates there in the surface. They are also found in sulfur springs where Geochemically or biologically produced hydrogen sulphide could be available and they can able to trigger the bloom of this purple sulphur bacteria. This bacteria requires strict anaerobic condition for photosynthesis and they cannot able to thrive there on a oxygenated environment. The electron transport chain of purple non-sulphur bacteria begins where the reaction center bacterial chlorophyll pair P870 become excited by the absorption of the light. Excited P870 will then donate an electron there to the bacteriophyophytin which then passes it on to a series of electron carriers that have been present in the electron transport chain. In this process, an electrochemical gradient will be generated that results in the formation of the proton motive force which is used to synthesize the ATP by oxidative phosphorylation mechanism. The electron returns finally there to the P870 at the end of the chain so that it can be used again once the light excites the reaction center. The anoxygenic phototrophs also include certain heterotrophic representatives that is that can able to use organic electron donors instead of inorganic lithotrophic sources. Some such as purple non-sulfur bacteria like rhodospirulum can able to shift from an anoxygenic photosynthesis process to respiring in the presence of oxygen that is under a microaerophilic condition they may be active. As you can imagine this bacteria can live in many different environment from a dark to light containing environment and from a environment rich in oxygen to microaerophilic and without oxygen conditions also.